Hi, my name is Maike and I'm commenting on Mark 933 to 37 today. And my reflection will include um, a big picture overview, a comment on the verse and implications for our life as individuals as a an as a church body. So Mark 933 to 37 is a verse which obviously leads to the cross and it is a, it's one of the incidences where Jesus teaches the disciples some rules that they should follow once he's not with them anymore in his physical presence. <clears throat> the rules that he outlines in this verse are um, um, some that wrestle with me as an individual because he demands um, that we as Christians, we live humbly, that we're willing to serve and gracefully. And as a private person, particularly in my job contest, I'm struggling honestly with that. So I'm an academic and that is a very competitive environment. So the way of striving and what matters in a worldly co context is very engraved into me. So Jesus, presents a paradoxon by saying, by, by explaining what it means to be first. In the verse, his disciples on the way to Capernaum arguing uh, who of them should be first. And Jesus settles this argument by sitting down with them and saying that the worldly perspective of what means being first is not what it is from a divine perspective. From a divine perspective, the first person is, a, is the best servant, basically. And then he uh, intensifies this by putting a child from the house where they located in their middle, because at that time, the children were not the most precious and valued members within society. They were of equal status towards a slave. So by putting this child into the middle of him and asking the disciples to welcome them, um, he, de he demands from them inclusion. And that is important towards us as a church body and as, as individuals. I feel Oxford Baptist Terrace does a pretty good job on inclusiveness. So I witnessed various languages in the service since I'm here. People were very friendly in welcoming me um, and towards anyone. So, yeah, those were the things that wrestled with me, and that's my reflection for today. Bye!